Hello everyone, I am Barbara Maiocchi and I am CEO and co-founder of LifeTrend, the data-driven trend platform providing trend analysis and competitive intelligence to help you capitalize on the right product to produce more bestsellers and less unsold goods. Uh, today we also have Julia Stratman, our talented senior trend analyst. Maybe you want to say hi? Yeah, hey everyone. I'm really happy that you decided to join us today and that hopefully together we can really decode these holiday collections. And let's go to the next slide. So uh, let's start with a short intro to explain our intelligent technology that collects, analyzes, and translates data into actionable insights. Um, for this webinar, we will focus on product and data collected by LifeTrend Analytic Tool and the result of analyzing 100 of e-commerce during the month of December to really spot the best product and upcoming trends to help you succeed in the next holiday season. So today we will be more focused on market data, but as you know, in the platform, you have Instagram and fashion show analysis and a lot of other information. But uh, let me show you um, the chart and symbols that you will find in this presentation. So it's very important to understand the trend behavior that is showing the state and the risk of the trend from edgy to early signs that are more risky, of course, to stable and last call trends that have decreasing perspective but still uh, commercial potential. Um, you will find a percentage that is showing in number, uh, the year-on-year -year growth of the trend and some graphs, as you can see here in the slide, to show you the product assortment or the trend evolution of the product we are talking about. Um, if you would like to have more information about the methodology, feel free to you know write uh, in the chat, ask your question, or even at the end of the webinar. Of course, we are here to answer to your question. Um, so now I let Julia uh, talk about the design trends and the inspiration you need to master the next holiday season. Yeah, so hey everyone, today we're going to begin with a quick introduction or overview of the entire holiday uh, season um, and talk about the design directions and key looks to un really understand how current market trends are impacting these uh, specific holiday drops. So we have seen that this holiday season we were embracing this transformative influence of minimalism and old money glamour, but also bohemian notions to create a set of stories um, that really went uh, for this fascination for heritage and mysticism. And you will see throughout this first half of the webinar, our first introductory part, that here we're working a lot with our um, Instagram or um, consumer search data. So here you can also understand how certain trends are resonating with consumers spot on and then afterwards really dive into the full-blown analysis of the market. But let's begin with our first design trend that we have spotted during these holiday collections. We call it the corporate Christmas. And um, here we really explore a sophisticated holiday trend that takes us to kind of a high-end Christmas office party. And consumer searches are really underlining this interest in classical tailoring and minimalism with impactful growth rates of 140 and 130 percent. So you can see that this trend really resonates a minimal aesthetic and is based on a clean palette of black, white and grey to really maintain this sleek and professional aesthetic that we have tracked throughout the year all over the market. And for this trend's key looks, um, we are looking at formal wear with a twist. So you can see that classic items are either reimagined or styled in new and rather like unexpected ways. So carefully placed details can add a touch of holiday spirit, like little glitzy details, etc., uh, without compromising the overall polished look. And key elements really include this meticulous tailoring with a focus on the bolder shoulder and um, a taste for stylized outlines, especially on shirting and blazers. So those pieces are elevated by pairings now with these mini pants for women's wear or other dazzling holiday pieces to really reimagine the look. Now diving into our second holiday trend, we look at a world of luxurious alchemy that is really based on a mythical bohemian story. So the theme is capturing the spirit of Christmas with its warmth and magic in a 
quite luxurious and boho chic narrative. And you can see that the search rates for spirituality are growing by 450% and boho chic is even manifesting at 60% of growth rates. So you can see that this appeal of bohemian indulgence is clearly resonating with consumers. So overall, the trend really creates this, as I mentioned, mystical blend of spiritual, of and of heritage, um, all set in this warm, rich and indulgent color story and context. So when we look at the trans key looks, you can picture this um, set of dreamy botanical and paisley prints that are explored on luxurious fabrics like velvet and satin and with an allure of gold yarns or golden embellishments we're really adding a touch of opulence to this holiday story overall um, the silhouettes are based on bohemian styles and include several flared pens flouncy or very fluid blouses um, and maxi skirts and dresses that create some bohemian volumes. And we can also see this kind of caftan silhouette that is influencing the necklines and details across outerwear, dresses and tops to really enhance this sense of heritage within the narrative. Now looking at another trend that has been um, embraced on the holiday season, we have lunar nights. So this is a holiday trend that takes us on kind of a phantasmic journey and is challenging our sense of futurism and magic from the outer space. The concept really embraces the cosmic allure and is perfectly um, adequate for sleek and sparkling um, celebrations, let's say, of the new year. So the lunar lights trend really invites us to embrace futuristic elegance and this cold shimmering range of colors and textiles. And as you can see with the interest in innovation and space that is coming from consumers at the moment, we really see this uh, relevance for this kind of holiday drop that is still in line with a lot of, you know, um, society behaviors and market shifts. And when we look at this trend's key looks, you can see a lot of silvers and sparkles um, that are paired with streamlined, almost kind of otherworldly minimal designs. Um, so garments really focus on this clean cut silhouette, minimal shapes um, that are all leaving room for textiles that capture, let's say, the essence of a starry sky. Um, so you can see glittery mesh that is a very trendy sheer fabric of the moment, metallics um, that are all evoking a celestial sense of wonder. And next to this almost like bedazzling sequin effect, uh, you can also see some subtle gradients for prints, subtle marble effects that give us a bit of this um, a moving, dynamic, futuristic feeling. In terms of silhouettes, we also look a lot at column skirts and dresses that create this very streamlined silhouette that I'm talking about, um, and tube tops, tube details, uh, or either sharp high necklines for to really go for that sleek aesthetic. Now, our second to last theme for the holidays, we have daring drama as a story that is a bit more classical in its holiday narrative. So this trend is really taking us into this kind of indulgent gala setting, a kind of luxurious black tie event. And it's really inspired by the upper class to exceed a sense of old money sophistication. So you can see that this interest in the old money look remains a very strong trend with a growth of 700% from consumers, as well as maximalism that is manifesting at a uh, whopping 900% um, and that you can see being translated in very curated maximalist features on rather timeless garments. But I'll show you that now in the next slide when we look at the key looks for this trend. Um, so looking more closely, you can see these pieces that explore, you know, chic, luxurious staples with more lavish details that resonate a sense of extravagance. So here's these details you can see bows, golden buttons, puffy volumes, feathers, roses, you know, or even just this bolder structured shoulder that is a bit over the top and elevates this trend's pieces. So for um, the enhanced effect, we also look at a dramatic color palette that is very much black and white and also includes pushy, punchy red. Um, so um, with this palette, we look also at a lot of doll-like dresses, a little bit of prim and proper influences also on dresses, but also in the suiting category for men um, that are really uh, leaving their impact on the range.
And now, last but not least, we're looking at the design narrative um, called Celestial Soiree. So here we really enter a realm of holiday elegance with a look that embodies purity and a divine allure that we can connect to these frosty, snowy landscapes. So this trend really invites an air of angelic grace to the festive season and connects us with this human desire, let's say, uh, for eternity. So consumer searches are really spiking for anything that is related to belief and a bit more meaning by 400% and even for monasticism by 40%. And this this growth in these or the growth in this these uh, consumer searches really underlines our need for a bit more purity and peace um, within these times of crisis that we're going through at the moment when we're looking at the key looks we can discover that the palette is really significant in its pure whites these um, delicate shimmers or just softly tinted hues so the trends luxurious feeling pieces um, resonate this high indulgent spirit and creates an, an atmosphere of you know, divinity, opulence, and sophistication. Um, this precious essence of the trend is really coming through in rather minimal pieces like clean knits or draped satin pieces in very pure colors um, that really embed a sense of timelessness, of value, of luxury. So highlights are then set with luxurious trims and details that can be sparkle embellishments curated in specific places, or even these feather and fluffy details that add a, match, um, a touch of this angelic magic into the mix. But now I get to Barbara to really give you all the insights when it comes to the markets. <laughs> Yeah, because I can see even here a little clin d'oeil to the bed core with all these, you know, quilted, but it's very interesting. And thank you very much, Julia, for, you know, this uh, very inspirational part, because now I will dive into uh, the data and uh, we will really explore the best product of the season. So let's start with uh, women ready to wear. Uh, we can definitely notice a feminine focus leading the assortment with, of course, dressing uh, leading the way and then top and skirts following closely with 23% of the range and then trousers as you can see that are taking 50% while skirts are at 7 and so often um, these skirts and these trousers are worn with blazer to define this tailored look of the season um, that it's still very present even for the holiday uh, season and then if we can go on with this okay Great. Um, let's have a look at uh, men assortment, where um, here we can find more versatility in the range with the predominance of tailored pieces and blazers and trousers ranging from classic to contemporary styles to ensure this uh, effortless and versatile elegance that consumers are looking for. Let's have a quick look at the color range. Uh, at the end of the webinar, you'll be able to download the PDF, so don't worry. All of this data and information will be secured in your document. So um, all this graph and information, you will have it, but we will try um, to go through them quite quickly because, of course, we have just one hour to talk about everything. And you can see here uh, this quantitative analysis in the, in the graph, but uh, globally, let's say that women's wear palette is more frosty uh, with more grays, metallics, and pure colors, such as white and naturals. And of course, the typical festive color red has been very important as we have seen in the trends. And for men, the classic palette takes center stage with blue prevailing, but also offering grays and natural colors as we have seen for women's wear. Talking about key fabrics, so for women, uh, it's the season of shiny surfaces and also silver and metallics have been very important, of course, um, but also velvet and veiled fabric. So it's the first line. The second line, it's about uh, men's and we can see here how shiny fabrics such as satin, uh, leather, but also sparkling options are interesting novelties in these uh, more and more genderless wardrobe. So it's interesting to see even in the trend evolution 
how these fabrics evolve. And you can see here how we track, you know, all these uh, different attributes in the timeline to really see uh, the behavior of the trends. Um, now let's compare uh, men and women tailoring assortments where of course blazer jackets has been the style product for both, taking nearly 40% of this range. Um, now, as you will see in the following slide, what we do is that we highlight five top products for each category. Um, here, um, if I have to find a new option for the next year, it will be certainly a double-breasted blazer jacket that is a uh, early sign this year, as you can see here with the, the stamp, the lila stamp, and it's predicted to grow for the next season. Uh, for women, um, the option is definitely wearing a tailored set, so it can be the mini set uh, with a skirt, for example, or a full sequin combo because the festive options are permeated with this tailoring trend that already Julia mentioned before that we have been tracking since last year and is hitting the market at the beginning of the season, from the beginning of the season. Looking at topper assortment, we can see the variety in the women's wear range where woven and jersey tops are uh, have quite similar weight, as you can see. But in menswear, we can see as jerseys are taking nearly 70% of the range in December for you know, the whole range. Um, our data says that um, the shirts has been the style product for the holiday collection, even if it's quite stable, you know, a quite stable product into the range, they perform quite well and in several fabric in between classic white shirt and sparkling option. And to not forget femininity, as you can see in the picture, we can uh, see how the off shoulder details uh, was present on top and also knitwear and dresses, uh, several sequins, lurex and glittery option embellish the tops and are staying quite minimal in the shapes, but more fancy in the fabrics. And then about men's top, of course, the classic shirt is one of the soft products here too, showing also interesting fluid options with bow, like this Gucci style. Um, it's a really a typical example of this new masculinity. You can see here are even the sheer options have been rising 51% since last year and are certainly appealing the most trendy consumers. For sweaters, of course, the ugly Christmas sweater has been quite popular in the mass market. Uh, taking some more refined option in um, several premium brands and particularly for the ski capsules that have been uh, and we have seen popping in the e-commerce uh, this year. Let's have a look at dresses. Um, here we can see in the assortment how short and midi dresses are leading the range and how long and midi dresses are slightly rising in the trend evolution. But let's see, because uh, while mini dress has been quite a stable trend, slick and long lines with sheer fabrics uh, are rising. And as usual, the all sequin dress has been an important option for uh, the festive dresses. But remember that the stock product has been midi dress. Let's analyze the bottom assortment where we can see in the women's wear uh, range how wide leg um, are leading the way and both for uh, women and men cargo pants have been still an important style for trousers uh, even before the more minimal and classic options as uh, slim and cigarette styles. Baggy pants are still in the trend with uh, quite good performance in the young market as wide leg that are definitely adopted by these targets. So um, for women, not to forget, we have also the skirt uh, range. So short and midi skirts have similar weight in the range, but midi length have definitely been the most performing option of the season. So as you can see, we're quite shifting from all those mini length to more uh, midi length in uh, skirts and dresses. Um, 
as you can see in these five items, so as I already mentioned, white leg has been a stable trend as party flares. Uh, we need to mention silver pens uh, rising 73% from last year, and also this bottomless trend with the sparkling hot pens that have been uh, seen you know strongly post on instagram and proposed by several brands from luxury not to mention mew mew uh, to the mass market and as a definitely to propose as a trendy option for the festive collection as you can see here we define this trend as an edgy trend so that it means that it's a trend to test of course for the fashion cohort but to be of course quiet with with quantities let's have a look at men so Cargo has been a very important style. Uh, rework also in tailored and winter fabrics. Uh, they were rising 46% to last year. White legs have been increasingly performing. And as early sign, we also spot wide flares showing a big increase of 260 to last year. Leather pants has also been increasing by 83%. And the star product of the season has been definitely cargo and chino pants. So let me see if I have time to go through the accessory range. Yes, I think yes. So about the global range, small accessories have been leading the range with 32%. Then, uh, of course, if we had to see um, the first position is for shoes and then for bags and view. But if we have to talk about performance, our data says uh, small accessories and bijou have been the most performing products. Talking about bags as usual, mini bags and clutches are always important products of the holiday season. But do not forget that in the assortment, we also have thought and crossbody bags that have been probably a recurrent option for Christmas gifts, taking mini bag, tote, crossbody and clutch in the first four position in sales. Talking about footwear, so boots and ankle boots were taking uh, 27 percent yeah, of the December range, and here sandal were one of the most important option. As you can see, for a material shiny and sparkly, like also delicate satin and velvet were the most important. And for detail, we have spot bows, jewel clasp, sparkle straps, and mini buckles as a prominent detail but let's have a look to the styles so of course as we i think everybody has seen even on instagram very strong the mary jane have been a big trend increasing 95 percent year on year pointy pumps are a very important shape with a steady grow but the rising trend is definitely the ballet flat that will be a very important product for spring summer 24 and so on um, as we have uh, seen in the e-commerce, sparkling materials are very impactful in the festive collection and we detected so ankle boots and sandals, as you can see here, as a prominent product uh, for the season, but also, for example, sneakers are star product in the footwear range in December. So do not forget men. Uh, here, the key footwear items are the Luxor loafer with a noticeable increase of 256% from last year. Then this new and very interesting, this new sleep on derbies are certainly a safe product to invest in the um, for the next year, rising 52%. And of course, the soft mocassin is still an important product and suitable for every occasion. We can see even for summer 24, how many uh, footwear style are going more uh, soft in the material. And for the most fashionable man, this sleek, super pointy Western boot is a fashionable piece to test, as we have seen during even the new uh, Pharrell William Louis Vuitton fashion show inspired by the Americana. And OK, um, there's a last chapter about small and soft accessories that I think you will find in the PDF and you will have time to go through the data and our key items. But now uh, I think we haven't got the time to go uh, through everything and describe all the product. But maybe we can um, finish with the latest new and then give you uh, the time to ask your your question. So maybe, Julia, do you want to close with the what's next? 
Yeah, thank you. So thank you so much, Barbara. That was so insightful. Um, first, also, thank you, everyone, that you were so um, interested um, and patient during this part. Um, but let's look uh, now at what comes next. So this was certainly just a snippet uh, of a full seasonal analysis, and we um, have more of that. So, of course, we know that the holidays do not only mean these fancy cocktail parties and festive dinners, uh, but they also include the cozy moments that we spend at home and um, also the holidays going through the slopes. So if you need more on that, feel free to reach out if you need further information. Um, and do not forget that next week on Tuesday, we will be looking uh, way further. We'll give you um, an overview of the upcoming SS25 season with our forecasting preview. Um, so this presentation will really decode the consumer profiles and macro trends. Um, and we'll share a lot of AI generated moods, a lot of AI generated designs to really inspire and drive your new collection based on data, based on artificial intelligence. So this certainly do not miss out and make sure to register to this um, this really uh, comprehensive webinar and also if you like Barbara mentioned want to telecharge the full PDF of today's report um, please make sure uh, to either scan the QR code or I've also put the link to um, the the PDF into the chat so it's really on top of the chat you can do either or um, and certainly you'll receive the the replay of this uh, this webinar um, but now I'm curious to know if everything was clear, if you have further questions, if you're, you know, very curious about a specific part. Um, so I'm happy to open up a little Q&A and a question around um, for those who, who have questions and are interested. <laughs> it was super clear. Thank you so much. Sorry for not. I don't have any questions. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, Okay, I think it's a lot of data and information. Um, I have received a question by phone by one of our clients. Maybe it's shy to write in the in the chat. Um, the question is uh, how and where he can find in the platform all those information. Because as you know, you have in your platform your own analytic with your personal information. Because of course, we automatize. This is as we said before, uh, big analysis comprehensive for the European uh, market, analyzing more than 100 e-commerce, but uh, each client is connected to its own, um, I say, competitive market. But let me just uh, maybe share the screen just one moment to show you because it's asking where it's the where I can find the product performance. So let me see if I can go of my screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, great. So in your dashboard, you can go to, you have, you know, product, product evolution and product performance for all the different attributes. So when you go to product performance, you select uh, out of stock to see, for example, which are um, the most performing products, but you can also select, for example, which is the, the which were the novelty for the months. Remember to select the uh, range of time. So we select, okay, December to see, you know, what we're talking about. Let's go to a specific collection ready to wear, and then you can see which product were the most out of stock during December and of course it's dresses, but of course let's have another insights and go a little bit deep on this. So we know that it's dress, you can select dresses. And so now you can go through the subcategory and then see, for example, which were the uh, most out of stock subcategories, or even in the timeline, you can see how the out of stock move so the answer for the question is for the performance you have to go to this um different dashboards but about product evolution so when we see the you know the percentage and we say uh the dresses are evolving this percentage of course maybe you will see that in your dashboard the data can be slightly different because of course you're analyzing your own market and your own competitors but it's here when you can select you know the category so we're talking about dresses 
and then you can select the dresses and of course you can even select a specific subcategory to see the evolution of course of the of the product so i hope i understand i answer to the question yeah i think that was really comprehensive we saw there was like a comeback uh, uh, around lingerie uh, for uh, 24. do you have something to add or say i was quite interested about this L lingerie Just Wait, julia there. do you do you want to answer about because we have a specific also report on that in the in the platform yeah but maybe so you can yeah it depends a bit on what specific like specific uh, subject um you would like some information we have made a special feature on both either the design trends but also on the specific products that were uh, crucial for this season um but this actually on our platform is a specific sub report um if you are really keen on that maybe you can reach out after the webinar again so we can make sure to um provide you with very specific information but on that global scale we have seen um in terms of design in terms of um aesthetic the exact or similar movements um coming out there um when it comes to a bit more um you know old money designs a bit more minimalism but certainly um this lunar aesthetic was super important a lot of lurex a lot of glitzy details uh, glittery straps that were involved especially since we had a lot of these trappy styles uh, previously um that were now replaced with this glitzy effect um but also especially there the sheer effect everything that is a bit ballet core inspired that we have left out in this presentation because it was quite um men's and women's were focused um and it was and of course this ballet core theme is a bit more women's were driven um has been coming through there as well especially for the holiday season but of course now without any visuals to show you it's a bit tough <laughs> uh, but make sure to to shoot another email um so we can maybe figure out a way to to link you to these specific reports okay sure thank you <laughs> I think otherwise everyone seems to be quite um, clear with everything. I think everyone's eager to get the PDF so they can have a closer look at all the charts, all the data, all um, the information. Yeah. So I think everyone have a lovely rest of the week, um, a productive start into the year, even though it's already end of January, but still, um, and then I hope to see you soon in our next webinar, maybe even next week for the SS25 consumers, macro trends and more. So um, yeah, see you there. <laughs> yes, thank, thank, you. You yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.